Hi everyone, Etta here. I thought I'd go ahead and jump on today. Um, my granddaughter Graceland just left. I may even still be a little colored uh, from being outside. I kind of got a little red because it's extremely hot out there, but I put her in her stroller, put the little cover on her to keep her protected, and uh, I didn't protect myself. So, and we were out there for about 25, 30 minutes. So I'm a little flustered from the heat, but I'm trying to relax. I turned the air conditioner down a little bit to cool it off a little more. And I thought I'd go ahead and go through um, Hubby's Sensi Club order that came in, I think, very early this week. And I went ahead and opened everything and opened the Mylar bag and everything so it won't make a bunch of noise. And then right after that, um, today, my box came in from K Scented Melts and I had done some customs. Um, I kind of put off a lot of stuff until late in the summer kind of thing. And so um, I think I just placed this order. Let's see, today is Saturday. I, I want to say it was like Tuesday maybe Wednesday something like that it was not that long ago and I already got it maybe it was Monday um, anyways I'm gonna go ahead and jump in Scentsy Club Hubbies which is bi-monthly and because um, it qualified for the gifts again I got another bar of fairy tale pumpkin and another pack of the cotton cleanups so that's a lot of cotton cleanups and too many bars of fairy tale pumpkin. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it over there on the side. All right, the bars that were in his club, we have Kakuyan Coconut, which I think was in the summer collection. I really, really like the way that smells, so I'll put that one in my club. His club, it's really mine. Uh, although I do put scents in here that I think that he's told me that he likes. So I put them in his club and then uh, I've had a little extra room. So I put a couple of bars in his so that I didn't have to put them in mine, which would make mine that much more expensive. So anyways, cucumber and cactus water. Like that one too. I thought that one did really well. Uh, another one that might have been in the summer collection. From the most recent Bring Back My Bar, we have Blonde Wood and Moonflower. Now I had, have, cause I don't, it's probably in one of the drawers of wax. Um, I have a bar from a couple of years ago that I think I got in a flash sale or something. And I think I had gotten more than one and I remember warming it and thinking it was really good. Hadn't warmed it since. So I know there's another bar, an older bar laying around somewhere. But I just did the one that I got from the most recent Bring Back My Bar. I did that one yesterday. I did um, half of it in this room and the other half in the mud room. And oh my goodness, it smelled really, really good. So I'm glad it's still in my club. Um, why is there two of these? I don't remember putting two of these in my club. Let me check this. No, there shouldn't be. Uh, it says that I ordered one, but there are two business casual in the bag. I'm going to have to count because that's four, five. Um, I have Summer Moonlight, which was in the spring summer catalog. I really like the way this one smelled. I thought it performed nicely. I thought it smelled great, so I'll put it in his club. From the, I think, most recent Bring Back My Bar, I have a Zeppelin. Um, i trying to remember if I actually got a chance to warm this one or not yet. I think I did. I think I did. Zeppelin uh, from, I think this was, might have been last month's um, scent of the month. I think it might have been last month's glacier water. I warmed, uh, did I warm an entire bar or did I only have the little cup? I can't remember, but I did warm something that I had and I thought it was very, very nice. My husband even commented that he liked it. So I went ahead and put it in the club and got another one. Put this one in my club, red, white, and berry pie. I enjoyed this one. I liked the way the berry 
smell and I can get kind of a, like a pie scent from it. I thought it was really, really good. I thought it performed well in the dining room, so I went ahead and put it in the club. I'm probably not going to keep it in there for a long time, but I wanted to get a couple of them at least. I, uh, since this is his club, one of the things I have in his club is the scent of the month. So he got Gimme Candy, which obviously makes this the scent of the month for September. It does smell really good. I haven't warmed it yet, but it does smell really good. We have Peachy and Palm Trees, which also may be from the summer collection. I thought it smelled good. Um, I think it has the same peach scent as, uh, oh my goodness. Can't think of it right now, but um, obviously it's, I don't think it's in my club because I didn't have it in mine, and it's not in his, so I'm glad this one is in my club because I only have a few left of the one that I'm trying to think of. And then this one, which I'm almost positive I've gotten before, but either I put it away in one of the wax drawers and I haven't found it to warm it, or I warmed it and I just don't remember, and that is Pink Rhubarb Sugar. And I was afraid that it was going to be something that I was going to love and that I would have missed out on. So I put it in my club so that I could definitely try it. I'm going to put it in my little trolley so that I don't lose it. Because I don't want to dig through wax to find it. I try to go through the wax when I need to fill my trolley. But I don't want to just dig through just to find this one bar. It smells really, really good. I think I'm going to like it. So... Throw that over there to the side. All right, so according to this, I have one, two, three, four, eight, 12 bars. And I should have one, two, three, four. Nope, not gonna count that one because that's the one over the fairy tale. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh no, I counted the whiff box, so 11. So I did, you see, I got, it seems I got one extra business casual. I can't imagine that they want me to send it back. It seems like a lot of postage for one bar of wax, but I guess I'll submit a ticket to ask them what they want me to do about that one extra bar that they sent me. Anyways, what's left is in his uh, half price, <coughs> I got the whiff box for September. I don't always get the whiff box. Like I said, I like to get the washer whiffs, but um kind of stocked up on some washer whiffs lately so I thought I might skip washer whiffs for a couple of for at least one round of um club and then maybe, maybe put it back in the next time so all right um I'm sure you've seen the whiff box from other people <coughs> like I said I opened it so I can pull out the mylar bag and get rid of that so it wouldn't make a bunch of noise I had seen this on someone else's They've got the little paper, which has got a, um, the picture from the um, Jack's Obsession or Nightmare, Nightmare, Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm going too fast. I need to slow down, but I don't want to. Uh, it's all, It always has like some kind of stuff on the inside to do. It says, Eureka, your September whiff box might just be better than ever, including products from our, ti our Disney. Disney Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas collection. All inspired by the beloved residents of Halloween Town. Head to the collection section of your consultant's personal website to shop the entire collection. Okay. I'm running out of space to put stuff. All right. I, I saw this in someone else's and I thought, oh gosh. This, to me, this, for me, this is as bad as getting the fairy tale pumpkin. I do not like roll of the dice. I, I, no. I tried it last year. It's, um... Yeah, it almost looks like it was a little sweaty at some point, but now I may ask my nephew that when I send him the fairy tale pumpkin, if he happens to want that one too, maybe he might want to try it. Um, then I did get a nightmare before Christmas, Jack's obsession, love, 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 love. I have two in my trolley right now so that I can start using some up because I did have quite a bit from having it in my club before and kind of stocking up on it. So 
Then you also got one of the Scentsy Bitty Buddies, and this is the Bat, and it's scented in caramel apple craze. So if you don't know the little bitty buddies, you know, like a little mini stuffed animal, let's say, um, and they come pre-scented. So this one is scented in caramel apple craze. And seeing that scent name reminds me, I need to pick up some caramel. Oh, gosh, I could smell it. Oh, that smells so good. Um, I need to pick up some caramel apple craze. I don't think I have any in my uh, stash of wax. I think I might have used up what I had last year. Look at that, how cute. That is really, really cute. I'm kind of holding him by his tags. Makes it easier to hold. But he's really cute and he smells amazing. Love that caramel apple craze. I'm going to put him back in the container so that he doesn't... And he, like, barely fits in there. I have to, like, smash him in. Um, so that he doesn't lose his scent. I think, you know, it'll keep it fresher and intact, the scent, if you keep it in the little container. So that's that. Then we got a room spray in Scary Good, which I believe was one of the scents of the months last year in 2021. I personally didn't like it, but if I remember correctly, my sister Bessie did like that. So Bessie, if you want, I will hold that spray for you so you can have Scary Good. Then we also got a scent circle. Oh, it's a 3D scent circle. I don't think I've ever gotten the 3D scent circles before. Um, and it's in Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin. So 3D, you know, obviously when you open it up, it's going to uh, probably kind of like stick together a certain area. Like right here in the stem, it looks like it kind of has a little spot there where the other one would probably fit into. So that'll be nice. I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm trying to think. Maybe maybe put it in the car for my husband to enjoy because he uses the car a lot more than I do. Then there is a um, one of the Harvest Collection brochures, which this will be great. I mean, I usually look at it online, um, but it's you know it's nice to be able to see it in the um, on paper. Gives you a good look at everything. Um, the wax bars, which I still haven't warmed any of them, but I did smell maple rum cake again this morning, and I found that it smelled stronger now than it did when I first got it. I, I've said before, sometimes when you go back and smell it like 30 minutes later, it smells different, like it smells stronger sometimes and stuff. So it definitely... Uh, smell stronger today when I smelled it and here is they got the oils but they give you another picture of the uh, 3d scent circles right there so you can kind of see what they look like and I like that little black cat buddy the cleaning supplies hand soaps uh what do you call those things scentsy soak hand cream all right so that's nice and then the last thing in the box I'm gonna throw the box to the side was a little cup of the let's see we're in september this would be the october scent of the month which is warm pumpkin drizzle i do not uh i haven't participated in the scent or warmer of the month for quite a few months so um this will be my first chance of smelling this and given i am more team apple than team pumpkin but i do like pumpkin scents in fact, I have pumpkin chai going today. I was like, you know what? I'm going to make today one of those days that I kind of do some uh, fall scents. And uh, I've got pumpkin chai in the dining room in collaboration with a vendor wax called Good and Rotten, um, which is amazing. And uh, so they're, they're playing off of each other, and it oh, just smells really, really good. So... This warm pumpkin drizzle smells good. Um, doesn't sm to me, it doesn't smell as sweet pumpkin as I think a lot of people like. I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Mm, sorry. Um, I feel like I get a lot of um, 
like the pumpkin meat smell, but I'm getting something like maybe clove or something like that. Clove or nutmeg or more like clove to me. I feel like that is a predominant spice scent in there. And then like a meaty pumpkin. At least that's what I'm getting. When I think warm pumpkin drizzle, the drizzle make, makes me think of like a sugary topping. But I'm not getting that from that little bit of a smell that I'm taking. So who knows? It might warm really sweet and just not smell super sweet on cold. But we'll see. All right. That was it for my husband's bi-monthly Scentsy Club. I am going to go ahead and jump in and show you what I got from... Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to not. I'm going to stop this video here and I'm going to just do another video. I'd like to go ahead and keep them separate. So if you wanted to watch that one, that one will... I'll probably put them up at the same time. So... If not, I hope that you enjoyed that one, and I'll see you next time. So until next time, enjoy your sense, enjoy your day, and enjoy your journey. Talk to you later. Bye.